How do I be happy about this? <laughs> happy good morning. Welcome back to Hope Scope. Today we're talking about what the heck is going on with the fashion world. I don't know about you, but the last like month or so, I've been having these weird. <sighs> I get in these funks where I just feel sad because I feel like nothing matters. <laughs> it's really scary that supply chains are getting shut off and I worry a lot about millions of people and whether they're gonna have a job or not. I feel kind of silly doing clothing reviews at a time like this sometimes. There's always a little bit of good in everything, you know? A lot of people are actually predicting that many fashion brands are going to step up their game in the sustainability department. Sustainable basically means it doesn't totally wreck the planet, economy, or treat humans badly. For so many years, as a society, we have been so focused on overconsumption, overproduction, pumping out collection after collection, and it's never been enough. And and now I feel like this is giving us a chance to finally slow down. It's a chance for brands to really take a step back and focus on the beliefs and the message and the experience that they want to share with the world. Well, there are tons of brands that I love out there that are making very conscious efforts, not only to reduce their impact on the planet, but to make sure that their clothing is produced in a very ethical way. I have found four of the best eco-friendly activewear brands. I'm not directly affiliated with any of them, but I feel like they need to be shared with the world. I narrowed it down to my favorites in a few categories. I have never received so many requests <laughs> to review a brand as I have for Tala. It was a company started by Grace Beverly. I have had such a struggle <laughs> with this brand. The first launch was a disaster for me. I was like watching the clock, ready for the launch, got on the website right on the hour to order all of my stuff. All right, I got a bunch of this Tala stuff because you guys really wanted a review and I had smalls and mediums in my cart, but then when I went to check out, they all turned to extra smalls. What's going on? I am not that small. Later that day, I got an email saying that all this stuff was out of stock, so they couldn't send my order. It was very confusing. It happened to a lot of people. I tried to order a second time. Everything just like got taken out of my car before I made it to check out. And then finally, I got some, but I just felt like I was so late to reviewing the brand that I don't know. And I actually started to film a review. Here's my original taller review. <laughs> All right, today is the day that I'm testing out this burgundy set. Just the leggings in this top. We're gonna go do a leg workout. Okay, here it is. I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, I have to say I'm impressed right off the bat. These are actually way more flattering than most seamless stuff is on me. Okay, that subtle little booty contour. Come up nice and high. I was a little bit nervous about the whole size small thing, but they fit pretty darn good. To the gym. By the way, I didn't even pick this color to match my hair. I just picked it because it was the only one on Poshmark. So this is literally the exact same set that they carry now. As I was doing this leg Day, I felt like these were very secure despite them being a stiffer seamless I didn't feel like they were gonna rip when I bent down squatted down and then as far as squat proof They're pretty solid. You definitely can't see anything through them at least when you're wearing no underwear, nude underwear. Both the leggings and the top definitely do show sweat. This top just was not my favorite for working out in. It's just, it's tight, it's thick, not the most breathable. It's really cute though. I mean, if you're just trying to look cute to go run some errands or something, not the leggings I would pick for something super hardcore hot and sweaty because of the breathability thing, but these performed incredibly well. The quality really exceeded all of my expectations overall. I feel like seamless leggings in general kind of emphasize your hips, which whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is up to you. <laughs> the length on these is good. They're definitely on the longer side. I am five, seven and a half, five, eight, somewhere around there. I mean, the bum contour on these just really steals the show, I think. They have like a handful of their basic styles that each season they just come out with like new colors of. So recently I ordered this, it's like a, a light gray. Like most seamless stuff, I prefer a medium in these bottoms and I did a small in the tops. So I have my exact measurements listed down below. I want you to be brutally honest. Is this color flattering? Because I feel like they are not as flattering as the red ones. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... I really like the waistband of these. They're the thicker ribbed, they hit at a good spot on your waist. They do have a seam along the inside of the leg, but no seam on the fronts and backs. Wow, I've already stained this color too everywhere. <laughs> this color was a bad idea. Ooh, you know what I didn't have a year ago though? The Shiro meter. So we're gonna see how squat proof these actually are. I'm excited to try them in this lighter color too. So we're gonna take the light of the room and then we're gonna take the fabric, stretch it over and see how much light is let through. So they get an 85% which isn't terrible, 
it's not the best, but if you were to wear no underwear or a neutral colored pair of underwear with these leggings, you'd be good. Oh, you know what I also have? The Hosta shorts. Hi, so I'm gonna show you what these shorts look like on, but first, I need to tan my legs. I look like an ombre human right now. During this whole stay at home thing, I've just been tanning the upper half of my body because that's anything anybody really sees and I've been living in leggings and sweatpants. So I'm a little two-toned right now. Like, here's the color of my arm. Here's the color of my leg. <laughs> better. I quite like these shorts. Anytime somebody asks me for a seamless shorts recommendation, these are one of the ones I always say. They just hug everything in. The seam at the bottom doesn't really dig in at all. Super flattering. They're basically the same thing as the leggings, but in shorts form. And the mediums fit me perfectly. And I also got one of their new hoodies called the Astro Hoodie. It was literally one of my favorite hoodies in the whole world. I wore it for two weeks straight and then it disappeared. Like I haven't left the house in two months hardly. Where could it have gone? Um, Update, I found it. It was in the dryer. Turns out Tyler thought that since I was wearing it for two weeks straight, it should get washed. So he <laughs> washed it for me. Anyway, this is one of my favorite hoodies now. It's like a little bit oversized, a little longer. The inside's fleecy. I really like the neckline of the hood. There's no pockets. I would say that's the only downside. But it's very like clean looking with all the pockets though, you know? Um, it's a uh, medium. Made. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, you've been going. Just testing the support. So here it is. It's cute, right? It holds everything in, but it's just like not soft, not soft fabric. Like you can feel it. You're gonna get some arm chafe there. Yes. So I mean, fit, great. Quality, great. Just not my top. Why are you so close to my face? Crisscross straps. Okay. Been wearing the sports bra for about 10 hours. It hurts so bad. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad though. I just tend to prefer sports bras that are like a barely there feeling fabric, but still have compression. These tops are just thick. That's really all I have to say. <laughs> a little bit about this brand. Produced in Portugal in a low emissions ethical factory. 92% of their products and packaging are upcycled, which is phenomenal. Anything in this brand that's made from a synthetic fabric is actually made from recycled plastic which kind of sounds scary and kind of sounds uncomfortable, but we're gonna get into that later. <laughs> Tala offers sizes extra small through extra large, but one thing that I think is cool is they offer regular and tall options. They're very inclusive in all of their product promotions and advertising. <laughs> The next brand is one that I think is perfect for performance basics. They don't have like a ton of products, which is kind of nice, but it is phenomenal quality. It is Girlfriend Collective. You've probably seen me wearing this yellow set for the last like two or three years. And honestly, it still feels like it's brand new. They switch out their colors every season so they don't have this exact one anymore. I get a lot of questions about them because I think it's all very basic looking and it's a little bit on the more expensive side. So people question it. But I'm here to tell you, I think this is a brand worth supporting. Not only because of the quality and the comfort and the functionality of their stuff, but I just feel like they're an awesome company. Right now they ship to the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. And their stuff is actually available worldwide through the Nordstrom website. They have the most incredible size range I have yet to see somebody beat. They offer sizes extra, extra small through 6XL, which is awesome. So all of their packaging is 100% recycled. Their compression leggings are made from 25 recycled plastic bottles, which once again, sounds scary. I'm just gonna show you right now because I think it's so cool. They actually have this video on their website and I was totally nerding out over it. I thought it was the most fascinating process. So what they do is they collect all the plastic bottles, they clean them, of course, crush them up, and then they melt them down. They spin them into a soft yarn and boom, you get a beautiful fabric out of that. Crazy, huh? I mean, honestly, that's all polyester really is, is plastic. <laughs> the rest of their products are all made from other recycled fibers. All of their dyes are eco-friendly, which I didn't realize that was such a problem. And another cool thing, they will buy back your old activewear. Well, kind of, they, they give you a shopping credit, so they kind of buy it back. Anyway, they're the first people I've heard of doing that, which I thought is awesome. <laughs> so every time you wash any of your synthetic fabrics, there are microplastics in them that end up in your water systems and getting washed back into the environment, and it's very bad. So with every purchase, 
they include this little bag, which is actually something that you can wash your active wear in. So I originally had some of their compression leggings and then the petite Palmoa bra. Whoa. I got these both in a small. No, that is precisely the catastrophe we were trying to avoid. Actually, I forgot that I already ruined these. <laughs> There's a weird stain right on the bum. The leggings are $68, which, which actually is not like crazy outrageous compared to some other higher end activewear competitors. And then the sports bra was 38. Also the sports bra does not have pads in it, which I kind of like, but it's double lined. So it's not like see-through at all or thin. Good light medium support. The sizing is very true to size. I wouldn't say it runs big or small. There is a seam at the top of the waistband, which I actually like because it aids in them being a high impact legging. This little guy makes sure that they don't slide down. There is a front and a back seam, but on these leggings, I haven't noticed that causing any problems at all. I just I just want to see how squat proof this color is. They get a 93. Not too shabby. I really wish they still had this color because I get asked all the time for a squat proof yellow legging girlfriend. Please bring Citrine back. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. I kind of love that this happened because I like experiencing their customer service so that I can relay that information to you. My package got lost. So I gave it like another week or so. And then finally I reached out to them and told them it was never actually delivered. And they were so nice. They were like all ready to package up and send me a whole new package. But then luckily my landlord found this stuff. It ended up in someone else's mailbox. Box. But the fact that they were going to send a replacement. So I wanted to try this one. It is the perfect crew neck tee and it just looked so comfy. I got it in a medium because I wanted it to fit a bit more oversized. 100% coopio. What is coopio? Oh, cupro. This is a type of rayon. So it's either made from recycled cotton or some other plant-based material. I don't love this t-shirt as much as I would have hoped. It's more sheer than I thought it would be. You can see right through it. I mean, it's a good material to work out in, but... Mm. It also appears that it will wrinkle quite easily. Ain't nobody got time to iron their workout clothes. And then I also got this ridiculously cute set. Okay, I feel real cute in this. Do I look real cute in this? Yeah. In the color cocoa, I don't have very much like brown in my wardrobe. So I thought this color is so fun. These are the gazelle short. I feel like I got a medium, but I feel like I could have gotten a small just looking at them. They feel so nice though. They're a running short that has the like built-in underwear. Yeah, these shorts are a little big in the waist. They do have this drawstring though. And I think I'll take the waist being a little big in exchange for them actually having some room on my butt. Normally these types of shorts are like skin tight on my bum. And that is not how I want my running shorts to fit. I love this lightweight material. Pockets are a good size. And then the super cute mat jacket also very lightweight this might be my favorite windbreaker ever normally windbreakers are not my favorite because the fabric's not very comfy they're usually like really stiff but this fabric is amazing still that windbreakery feel but it's a little bit softer pockets zips all the way up to the top of the neck wait a second guys oh my goodness <gasps> There's a hood that zips in and out. That's brilliant. Oh, well, there's a drawstring at the bottom too. Guys, I almost forgot. <laughs> so a couple videos ago, I did a giveaway. It was a 400K celebration giveaway. And I was gonna pick a bunch of you to send $200 to. So here are the winners for that. And today I wanna give you another chance. So I'm gonna pick some of you to send gift cards to. All you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed like the video, and then comment below which one of these brands that I'm talking about today you're the most interested in. The next brand that I want to talk about is a little bit of a lesser known brand. They're very yoga-esque. They have really fun prints and patterns. They're called Wol Wolven? Wol Wolven? I think it is pronounced Wolven, like Wolf. Vin. So their activewear is made in China at a very ethical low emissions factory. And then all of their tees, dresses, and other bottoms are made in LA. They offer free worldwide shipping on orders over $89. I love that brands are like trying to educate a little bit more. Wolven has this cute little chart that kind of explains the process of how they make their leggings, which is cool. All their packaging is recycled and recyclable. And most of their crop tops and sports bras are reversible. So a two for one. I got the Echo Keyhole Top in a small. It was $72, but it's a two for one. This is definitely 
light support. There are no pads, and although the fabric is double lined, it's very thin. The straps are adjustable, which is more for like fit purposes than support purposes, I think. And then I got the Aquarius ruched crossover leggings in a size small. They were $98 and kind of the same thing. These are such an incredibly comfortable fabric. They're just slightly brushed. I think if I was a superhero, I would want my costume to be made out of this material. I really like the waistband, how it's like, it kind of dips, it's high waisted, but it dips down just a little bit in the front and crosses over. And then there's a little ruche. It's not like on the bum, it's on the waistband up here, which is kind of different. They're just like the second skin feel. And they are... Yeah, they get a 74 on squat proofability. So wear these for an activity that you don't care about that stuff. I'll definitely be purchasing more from them though because I think they're an awesome brand. Really great message, super cute products. The last brand that I want to talk about, it's not really a brand, it's like a, a member owned co-op company. It is REI and their prices range because they have their like outlet section and then their brand new, really high quality stuff. REI ships everywhere in the world except Australia. I thought that was very weird. <laughs> something to do with tax laws. REI is really, really big on used gear and they have set sustainability standards for all of the brands that they carry. You can actually browse the website based on specific sustainability traits. They have great sizing options. They're constantly giving back to the community. And from what I have read, they treat their employees very, very well. So these are their brand of leggings. I got them in a small and they are chocolate plum. Cause like I said, I don't have anything this color and I feel like it's kind of fun. I got these for only 35 bucks. Okay. So these are not the leggings I would pick for like a super sweaty workout, but I would chill in them and I would go on like a hike or something in them. And the fact they're only $35. Oh, and this was exciting. I have wanted a North Face pullover, one of the fleecy ones since I was like 12. <laughs> but I could never justify spending $200. Finally found one. Regularly $180, but I got it for 88. It's cute, huh? Fleecy with the big pocket and the zip. So much storage for snacks. So they have tons of like fall winter stuff on sale right now you can check out. And then a common complaint I see in the fit fashion sustainability world is the lack of high support sports bras. I agree, I don't know what it is, but for some reason all these sustainable brands are very like light support. So I found one that I can recommend. It's from the brand Odlo, Odlo? It is the double high support sports bra. Got it in a small and it was only $39, which is phenomenal for a good high support sports bra. Normally I steer away from the zipper sports bras. So you probably know this about me, but this one is so secure. So it has the zip front mesh panel here that has a clasp on the inside. And then underneath that, you have another clasp that connects the cups. Like nothing is going anywhere in this sports bra <laughs> and the cups are wired. Other than the cups, the whole sports bra is just totally meshy. So it's extremely breathable. That's the other thing that I noticed with high support sports bras is they are usually very hot and heavy. Honestly, the soft elastic at the bottom kind of steals the show because you can't even feel it. So like aesthetically, it's kind of weird, right? Functionally, it just makes sense. This was a new brand for me, but I definitely recommend it. I've said it before, I wanna say it again. I don't ever want you to watch these videos and feel like you have to go buy every single one of these things, but I just hope that in sharing some of my favorite activewear brands, when you are ready to go buy a new pair of leggings or a pair of shorts or a sports bra, you have your options. You know what these companies are about, what they stand for, the types of quality that they're producing so you can make a better decision you know i hope that you guys are all doing well staying healthy staying safe leo and i picked out some videos right over there for you if you need to catch up on your hope scope videos so we will see you guys over in the next one say bye youtube